Welcome back. I'm Pratap here. Today is 11th March 2024. In this video, let us evaluate the performance of high liquidity zones generated in the previous report. Even before that, a small announcement, please. If this is your first visit to our channel, please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action. All the training videos you can accessible. You can access from our uh, YouTube channel Neo Stock from the home page. Scroll down to the playlist uh, Supply Demand Zone Price Action Course. Click on this playlist. Here you will be able to access all the training videos. Even I am providing the link to this playlist in this YouTube video description. From there you can click on the link and then you can get into this space. After that scroll down to the bottom of this space. Here starting from lesson 1.1. All the training videos are accessible in an order. So please go through all these lessons one by one and strengthen our skills related to supply demand zone price action. I have also provided the link to our telegram channel in this YouTube video description. So please join in the telegram channel. It will be helpful to you. Each time when we release a new video, we will provide an update in the channel. Now let's get into the analysis discussion. Even before that, look into Nifty and Bank Nifty supply demand zone chains we have generated. So we have drawn some ranges for this week. This is the first range and this is the second range. And this is the third. Because at present Nifty is at all time high. So today also Nifty made a small one move above the previous all time high. A new all time high is created. And then see how it pushed the prices. There is a reason behind this push. Look here. Nifty has created a new supply zone rally base drop. And how strong the supply zone is going to be we need to see the price action in the coming days. Is it going to be a follow through candle in the coming days? Is it going to violate this uh, uh, demand zone created recently? This was the all time high demand zone. Earlier the supply zone is created. So based on that, uh, the ranges will be changing during this week. But at present this range is violated. The first five minutes uh, demand zone is violated. Actually, you know what happened uh, today? The prices entered into the demand zone. It gave a couple of entries. This is the first entry and pushed the prices up to the supply zone. The immediately available supply zone. Nifty has given some few points, maybe around 30 points or 40 points gain it has given. This is around 22413 and this is around 22. 446. Maybe around 35 points something gain it has given, but that is not good enough. And RR is also not good. You would not have taken this trade. After that, a deep entry it has given, probably type 3 proximal entry. This is the type 2 proximal entry, the first entry. After that, the second, because this is the high liquidity zone, it has given multiple. See, this is the type 3 proximal entry. And again it has given maybe how many points, now also maybe around 30 or 40 points. This is a 2 to 3, 9, 19, that means a 2 to 400. And the next range is here, next. And a 2 to 439 or 440. So another 35 to 40 points. Maybe this, you might have got an RR in this particular type 3 entry. But the problem is, the supply is very strong. See, if you look into this, uh, new supplies keep on creating here. After that, this supply holded the prices. New supply, drop, base, drop. Hold it. This supply has a hold it. And this high liquidity zone is broken here. After that, this 5 minutes high liquidity holded the prices. After that, it pierced. And then again came down. Now Nifty is coming near to the 25 minutes high liquidity demand zone. 
So this range is gone now. This is no more valid. This five minutes range is gone. Now this is going to be new ranges, but here new supplies, they are created. They might hold the prices, the five minute supplies. Because unless we run the software, we may not be knowing uh, are the, if there are any high liquidity supply zones in this list. The range may not be till this all time high. The range might be till the newly created five minute supply zones. So only our software, if it runs this nifty and bank nifty chain, then only we know the new supplies. But the demand still holds. Exactly the same way bank nifty is also happened. If you look into the bank nifty daily chart, see here also a new zone is created, LOTL zone, rally base drop. Already this is a high liquidity zone, the supply zone. Actually this supply zone is the main reason behind creating these zones because high liquidity zones is having the ability to create new zones again and again at lower time frames. But even LOTL zones also it will be creating. See here multiple LOTL zones creating. Already this is a high liquidity zone. Again rally base drop LOTL zone. Again rally base drop LOTL zone. The hidden body here. And now again rally base drop. Now supply is taking control. That is the point you should understand. See here the 5 minutes chart we have. The nifty bank nifty we have analyzed. See it already this 5 minutes demand zone holded the prices during last week. And today what happened more deep the it holded the prices more deep the type 3 entry. It pushed the prices up to here. Up to this 5 minutes uh, demand zone. Because today morning candle it went up to this uh, demand zone from there it came down. Sorry, the supply zone. What I mean to say, drop base drop. Now supply is dominating. This 5 minutes high liquidity demand zone is violated. Now this range is broken. We have to delete this. And this range is broken. And no more this range is valid now. Now new ranges. From the 5 minutes high liquidity demand zone where we have seen strong order flow earlier. But now you need to understand now all the shots are enabled now from this zone. Now bears are taking domination. Tomorrow is going to be interesting day because we already having idea this 5 minutes high liquidity zone is having a very strong demand zone. But this happened before the actual bears are activated. Now prices entered into this high liquidity supply zone. Now bears are activated. Now they are keep on pushing the prices. Now how good this 5 minutes demand zone to hold this supply or to hold the bears is very important to understand. That's why I am saying this is a very interesting scenario. Probably tomorrow we need to check the market how is bears are going to violate this 5 minutes demand zone or is it still going to hold because previously we have seen a very strong demand here. The moment prices entering here it is pushing the prices up that is what we have seen lot of rejections from this year. But this was the scenario before the bears activated. Now bears are activated. Now how good this 5 minutes high liquidity demand zone that we will be knowing only tomorrow most probably. If this is able to hold probably it may give one more push till one of these supply zones. Now we need to check what kind of supply zones the newly created supply zones. Are there any high liquidity newly created supply zones during today's uh, market? Once the data is uh, available today, and then we will be able to understand uh, with the help of our software if there are any high liquidity demand zones created today. But otherwise time being, uh, this is going to be the range for us between these two zones. If this 5 minutes demand zone is violated, 
and if bears are uh, probably this is also violated probably here it gets the support because here we have a daily demand zone is available below that we have 75 minutes high liquidity demand zones are there but one point we should not forget now prices are coming down from daily high liquidity demand zone this is the daily high liquidity demand zone the daily high liquidity demand zone is activated that means now bears are activated definitely this will be powerful then compared to the 15 minutes and 75 minutes demand zones that point we should not forget and also remember the newly created demand zone recently drop base rally in case if this is violated during this week or next week then trend will be changed that is also important even nifty also same case let me open nifty here see here drop base rally now this rally base drop violates this demand zone now trend will be changed to sideways now all the statistics analysis everything changes because first time the trend is changing now counter trend trade setups will be activated okay this is about uh, in short uh, what happened today in the market but i need to check this uh, candle see for human point of view it is looking like a rally base drop but let me check one software data is ready i will check uh, whether the software is also able to recognize this as a leg out candle because software stack calculations are slightly different and moreover software is very strict we humans are not very strict even small differences a point 1% percent, point 2 differences still we allow this as a leg out candle but uh, software is very strict because we define the rules are very strict rules sometimes with 0.1% or 0.2% narrowly it will miss it doesn't mean uh, we are wrong maybe software could be wrong sometimes uh, in a narrow conditions we call them as in software we call them as boundary conditions at the border of the conditions see software is just a machine sometimes with 0.001% it might miss a zone because our conditions are like that we have given such kind of condition sometimes so we have to accept it but definitely human point of view this is a valid supply zone rally based drop let us check once the data is ready in the next report generation we will see so this is about nifty and bank nifty now let's get into the zones we have identified yesterday two high liquidity zones identified sun tv and uh, adani ports adani ports we got the trade but it's a very interesting trade you have to test your experience whether you identified the trade or not if you are if you are already explained those scenarios earlier also we have seen such kind of trades if you are really an experienced person need not be experience from my earlier analysis videos if you would have land those concepts because i explain from my experience if you really learn from my experience today you would have got a trade in adani ports so let's analyze adani ports already we got a trade during uh, last uh, last week that is last thursday the last trading session we got a trade in adani adani is a 75 minutes uh, high liquidity supply zone let me go to the 75 minutes time frame see here we have a drop base drop this is the zone identified by our software and the last thursday this is thursday that is 7th we got a trade here price is entered and came down this is a fine tuned 5 minute zone 
above that we have a 15 minute zone in that 15 minute zone there is no fine tuned 5 minute zone that's why i told I, I told this is we can't plan a trade this will be violated if at all if it is not vi violated institution should decide to create a new zone inside here that possibility a new 15 minute zone again altogether a new 15 minute i mean new 5 minute zone inside this or altogether a new 15 and inside again new 5 minutes such kind of mechanism should take place. What about this zone? Because this zone is already tested. And moreover, this is an aggressive trade. We have a price action flow. Based on that, we took the trade. Definitely, this zone will be violated today. Let us look into the today's uh, five, 5 minutes time frame. First, let me show you today what happened. After that, we will look into this zone. First of all, look into this. Uh, we will look into this zone in 15 minutes. First, what happened today? Let me show you. Because this zone is a tested, it is not a fresh zone, and moreover, it is an aggressive trade earlier. Now we can't plan any more trades in this because this is not a high liquidity zone. And moreover, this is not a fine-tuned five-minute zone. Strictly speaking, this is not five minutes fine-tuned five-minute zones. Maybe earlier I told you fine-tuned. Fine if that is the case, that is wrong few minutes back did I told it is fine tuned five minutes if I said that is wrong this is a aggressive five minutes zone because price action close earlier we got some price action close before this zone if you draw this week to week we have a price action close prices are very near to this zone but as per our high liquidity zones we need to take trades in the inside this uh, uh, 75 minute zone so we have reduced the risk by going for type 2 proximal and on last trading session that is on thursday because friday is a holiday last trading session is thursday seventh so seventh prices entered and we got a trade and we got on that day we got around 3.3 percent ROI. we got 8520 rupees profit we got and see today what happened because this is already a tested zone easily this zone is violated because we know when a zones will be violated the five minute zones especially if they are not high liquidity zones this is not a high liquidity zone this is a normal five minute zone even it is not supporting fine tuned also but still because of aggressive trades we took this inside 75 minutes high liquidity so one trade it give and today it is failed but what about this zone because this zone look into this zone this is a 15 minute zone let me go to the 15 minutes time frame and show you this one we have a medium size leg candle and then we have a base candle and we have a drop candle we have drawn a 15 minute zone here but inside this 15 minute zone the moment you go to 5 minutes, when you want to fine tune, see what happened. We have seen a rally candle, drop candle, in between there is no base candle. That is the reason why we cannot take a trade inside this. There is no, because 5 minutes price structure is not good. Definitely this zone will be violated. It has to be violated. That is what we have seen. Many such kind of zones are violated. But only one condition, exceptional condition. What is that? If institutions decide to create a new 5-minute zone inside this, then they will push the prices down. In the next retracement, we can take a trade. That is what we have seen earlier for some of the stocks. Except that one scenario, otherwise this zone will violate easily. But today what happened? Let me delete this 5 minute zone, which we took trade earlier. This is no more fresh zone. So inside this zone, now prices should enter and it will violate. But today that didn't happen. The reason is institutions created a new fresh zone again today. 15 minute zone they created. Let me go to the 15 minutes time frame. 
So this is the 15 minute zone. Again, they created a new 15 minute zone. Rally, three base candles and a drop candle. So let me delete this one which we are expecting to be violated to get clarity. Now this is a new structure. When it happened today, see here today morning 11 o'clock, 10, 10, 10 45 minutes candle, 15 minutes candle, there is a leg candle. After that, three base candles and then a drop candle. Even though this is looking like a medium size candle, but this can be part of the base because already base candles are there. So, rally, base, three base candles, and a drop candle. When we can take a trade, again if there is a retracement into this zone, we can take a trade. If there is a retracement. When the retracement will happen, maybe it can happen today itself after some time. After this zone creations, after some time it might happen. Or maybe again after a few days, maybe after a week, maybe after a month also can happen. If today he prices retraces back to this zone, we can plan a trade. That is what we have seen earlier also few stocks we have seen. I remember uh, some I think one week or 10 days back we took a trade in uh, Asian paints or uh, burger paints. I didn't remember one of those stocks. They work like that. At that time I explained this concept clearly. Even before that one more incident also we have seen. I think two or three times we discussed this scenario. I clearly told you. Market is dynamic. You have to observe. Sometimes market will give you dynamic opportunities. Because this zone, the one we deleted, the one we got the trade here, this is already tested zone. The earlier one is not a valid zone. It will be violated. If you ignore and if you don't focus on this stock, you will miss the trading opportunity. That is what I told earlier. Today you might be thinking this zone will be violated easily. You would have ignored this stock. But remember, there you may get dynamic opportunities also. When market is running, it will create new zones. That way opportunities you will get and you will miss that opportunity. If anybody would have thrown this stock out of your watch list, you would have missed this opportunity, great opportunity. We have a rally, two base three base candles and a drop candle. So are there, then what you have to do, fine tune, you need to fine tune, check whether there is 5 minutes order flow is there or not. If the order flow is not there, this will also violate easily. If order flow is there, that is the area we get the opportunity. So the 5 minutes, this is the 5 minutes time frame. Inside this, see here, we have drawn, we have a leg candle, base candle and a drop candle with gap, small gap. With that gap, you can consider this is a leg out candle and a follow through candle. So this is one 5 minutes area, fine tuned 5 minutes area. And you have one more fine, uh, fine tuned 5 minutes area. We have a drop, base, drop. Like this you can drop. Because half of this, half of this uh, body came out of this 15 minutes zone. See, this is a 75. Inside 75, 15. So, exactly inside some, uh, uh, 15, you should have 5 minutes. So, maybe go, uh, want to go for type 2 entry. Still, type 2 is also outside the zone. Maybe there is no rule that you cannot take. You can take. But it's better to minimize when you have zone overlapped and uh, some large portion came outside. Then try to minimize the risk. Now make it type 3. Type 3 means exactly within this zone, like this. So type 3. Type 3 in 5 minutes, so that risk is minimized. At the same time, exactly this zone is fit within this 5 minute zone. I mean the 15 minute zone. So 5 minute zone is exactly overlapped inside the 15 minute zone. Now this could be your entry point. Then what is stop loss? The digital line, generally if you add the stop buffer, 
a little about that. The blue color line I have drawn is the stop loss. Because exactly point, uh, uh, I mean 95 paisa, 95 paisa is the, above the distal line is the stop loss. How we calculated this 95 paisa? Those who already completed supply demand zone courses outside, you might have learned this point. But those currently those who are learning in the next training session, you will be learning. Actually, I'm supposed to explain during this weekend because during this weekend is a long weekend. I have observed many people uh, are, uh, went to vacation because when I posted the video, I have seen uh, the views and uh, uh, very, very less compared to the earlier. Then I realized that many of you people went uh, vacation. Then I decided, okay, let me move my training session to uh, this week. Somewhere in the middle of this week or maybe uh, during this weekend, uh, I will explain. If my time is available, in the middle of the week, one, one of these days, I will start uh, your next lesson. So the blue color line, whatever I have driven. So now risk is uh, exactly within our limits from this proximal entry to the blue color line. Observe the reason why we are taking type 3 entry in this 5 minute zone is 5 minute zone will be within the 15 minute zone. See today what happened? The price is entered. Let me go. To, yeah, we are in 5 minutes. We got an entry here. But prices went beyond the proximal. They are still there within our stop loss, our stop buffer area. We need not worry. And then turn back and finally reached the target. So when you got the entry at 12 o'clock, 55 minutes, say close to 1 o'clock you got the entry. And 1 o'clock, 35 minutes, almost 35 to 40 minutes, you finished your trade. And what is the profit we got? We got 7,400 rupees profit we got in just 35 to 40 minutes time period. But it is a 2.9% ROI. You got 2.9% ROI. Why ROI is small? The reason is uh, the cost of the lot is a little higher. Generally, the cost of the lot in general average, it is between uh, 1,50,000 to 1,80,000, 1,90,000. But this one is, uh, I think, 2.7 or 2.8 lakhs. So that is the reason why ROI is, has been reduced. But anyway, close to 3% profit is a good profit. Anything above 1% during intraday is an excellent profit, no doubt in that. Anything above 1% ROI. So this is a good profit for us. And a successful trade. And moreover, this is a a dynamic trade during today's market. Those who would have noticed this fresh 15 minute zone and the retracement happened on the same day again, you got the trading opportunity because the 75 minutes area is a high liquidity zone. Within the high liquidity zone, the lower time frames, fine tuned zones, mostly you will see success. If suppose if this is stopped out, you would have taken a trade again in the one above that, the five minutes. Maybe your second trade would have been successful. That way also happened. Previously also we have seen. Within 15 minutes, if two zones are there, fine-tuned zones, if one is violated, the second one is most of the times it has given success. I can say more than 95 times it has given success. Because the first uh, fine-tuned area might have consumed the end majority of the demand. By the time uh, prices entered, the demand is weakened and this order flow pushes the prices down. But many times, the first zone itself will work. That is what we observed. It. See, it consumed all the demand. And pierced, still demand is strong, but here the moment it went beyond this distal line, demand is weakened because in this area all the demand has been consumed the supply the pending orders the pending sell orders consumed the demand just pierced but within our stop buffer area 
but it pushed the prices till the next 15 minutes zone. This is a drop base rally is the next 15 minutes zone. Even the next one, this is the drop. Even here the prices reached. Even the second target also they reached. From here it picked up the orders and moved up. Actually this zone is also picked up the orders from this zone. Actually here we can keep the tar target, there is nothing wrong. But anyway, we can't take risk because already from here to here we have a good RR is there. Because we don't know what happens. If it would have pushed the prices up, we would have missed the, already the, R the RO itself is very small. So by considering all these reasons, uh, we have to stick to this demand zone as our, our target. And the next one is Sun TV. We did not get an entry. This is a daily supply zone. This is the ERC candle is the leg in. Three base candles and a drop and follow through candles. This is the way our software identified this. And already this zone has uh, tested several times earlier. Three times it is tested. This is the first time, this is the second time, this is the third time. Third time when it is tested, it again created a new zone, rally base drop. This is the LOTL zone. This is a daily zone again, rally base drop. A daily zone inside the daily zone, LOTL. So that's why within this area we have fine tuned. We have rally three base candles and the drop at 75 minutes time frame. Again at 15 minutes time frame. We have drop one, two, three, four, five, six base candles and a drop candle. Up to six candles we can allow. And again within that five minutes, we identified the real order flow here. Because that is the reason behind this entire move. We have a drop candle, 1, 2, 3, 4 base candles, and a drop candle, and then follow through candle, a medium size, then came down. So we are expecting to take a trade in this, but today prices didn't enter into this area. So this is about uh, our uh, high liquidity zone analysis, but one important point you should not forget last uh, thursday i explained one wit trade weekly income trade okay weekly income trade to achieve its target it will take generally uh, how much time it will take some uh, a week time or a little more so definitely it will take a five days or more, maybe two, sometimes two weeks to achieve the target. But our interest is in, uh, we are here we are discussing about high liquidity zones. But in bullish trade setup, how much intraday profit it would have given? We haven't analyzed it so far. Just curiosity, let us look into the chart. Anyway, this is not part of our high liquidity zones. Just with, just with a curiosity, whether it has given any entry today, because that is one minute, one person close to the zone, there are higher chances we get a trade. So let us look into that chart. That is Mahindra and Mahindra, M and M. This is a 75 minute zone, so let us go to 75 minutes time frame. So this is the weekly zone. Inside weekly we have drawn uh, daily and then uh, first let me show you weekly time frame. Okay, this is weekly, not this one. This is a daily zone. This is weekly. And this is a all-time high. Between we have drawn daily zones. They are in the equilibrium. 
we have a daily zone here and daily supply zone within this daily we identified 75 minute zone this is a bullish trade setup 75 minutes demand zone this is 75 minutes supply zone this is what we have drawn this is for uh, WID trade point of view but if you look into how exactly our high liquidity zones are working the same way this bullish trade setup is working or not i just want to having curiosity i want to test that so far we didn't do that but today it gave an entry around 10:30 candle 75 minutes candle it gave an entry after that see the rejection from here because the order flow is very strong why the order flow is very strong here probably you may find a 5 minutes or 15 minutes zone inside this see here we have a 15 minute zone here we have a rally to base candles and a rally let us draw a 15 minute zone here this is a 15 minute zone so inside 15 is there any 5 minute zone Yes, there is a five-minute zone here. See, today the price has just entered into this five-minute zone. and it picked up the orders from this 5 minute zone and what could be the target the target could be 15 minute zone from here so before entering the prices today entering into this zone is there any 15 minutes target let me discuss let me set that this was the one we analyzed so is there any 15 minutes target that is what we need to identify Yeah, here we have a drop candle, base candle, and again a drop candle. This is the 15 minutes target. We can say. And moreover, it is holding the prices compared to the previously. when this is on 7th last thursday last trading session on 7th it was holding the prices so this is the most recent 15 minute zone and today morning what happened this zone is just pierced why i am saying pierced because prices came opened above and again they came and closed within this so we should consider this is a pierced zone this pierced zone can be used for see candle is not uh, closed outside if candle is closed we would have deleted this zone it is pierced pierced zones can be used for targets as an initial first target sometimes it may go beyond that but today i don't know the candle is opened and came down is it a okay whatever it is finally okay for us at least we set a target here sometimes we may get ps zones means the advantage sometimes we may get even more targets today it didn't happen it reached and it gave this target is it having good rr yes let us check how much rr is there from here to here this is only for intraday point of view i'm thinking but actually this is for uh, dit traders but the bullish trade setup dit bullish trade setup uh, 
can we convert to an intraday trade that is what i am checking here those who have taken a, a trade 75 minutes that is weekly income trade traders those who have taken a trade still they might be holding the prices because this is their target but as an intraday tra intraday traders you may not be taking risk to hold you will not carry overnight positions but how much profit you would have got at 10:45 it entered and at 1 o'clock 30 minutes 1:30 it reached the target so almost 2 hours 45 minutes your you carried your trade and finally you closed the trade here so how much profit you would have got before that first let us look into that do we have enough rr so because this is a long position let us check so this we have to check 5 minutes rr because our trade is at 5 minutes but target is 15 minutes why we are taking 15 minutes because this is a bullish trade setup is it having a, a bullish trade setup is it having capability like high liquidity zone or not we are just testing maybe in this stock it may work up to 15 minutes target but every time it may not be working general bullish trade setup stocks are powerful in general but not as good as high liquidity zones that point you should not forget today's example is just only a sample a small sample but this is not good enough to consider this as a sample one stock this is just one stock see here some buffer i added below this entry also a little below i added and this is going to be our target okay so it has given 1 is to 6.25 rr excellent 1 is to 5 is a very good rr for beginners freshers 1 is to 3 is good for experienced people 1 is to 2.5 is also considered by highly experienced people but 1 is to 6 is an amazing rr this is we are comparing with 5 minutes entry with 15 minutes target you should not forget that just trying to check how strong the bullish trade setups maybe this is one example only like this multiple example supports then we can also plan a trade setup based on the bullish trade setups for intraday trade trading point of view and just thinking see here our goal is to get maximum returns that's it it doesn't matter it is intraday trade or it is a uh, what to say wit trade or uh, mit trade short period we should get good returns so how much return it has given today at least today how much return it has given so we this is a good trade okay then what is the entry and what is the target so because this is a 15 minutes this is your target already earlier it, it captured the trades from this zone so we have given this the close of this candle is your target that is uh, 1900 05 1900 rupees 05 paisa so let us check again the close of this candle 1900.05 okay minus what is your entry the entry is 5 minutes entry not 15 minutes let me go to 5 minutes time frame this is your entry the high of this candle 
let us check once again 1873.55 so you got 26.5 rupees profit for one share so let's go to zero the margin margin calculator and the name of the stock is m and m let us take march 2024 so net quantity we have 350 trades i mean 350 stocks in one lot the lot size is 350 and what is the cost 1,17,938 maybe it could have been 1,17 maybe 200 or 300 by the time price is entered but still we will take it doesn't make much difference because at the time of closing this is the margin cost at the time of entry it could have been a little lesser maybe 500 or 600 not much difference let us take this as a reference so what is your profit first of all 26.5 into 350 you got 9275 rupees intraday profit so into 100 divided by 1 938 this is the cost of the lot now we are going to get roi we got 7.86 that means 7.9 roi we got close to 8% roi we can say so we got 7.86% roi this is excellent this is beyond our average roi for for our high liquidity zones so this is a good trade already we got 7% profit for your 117938 rupees investment okay w80 w80 traders would not have exited today they might be holding but holding this stock really gives uh, gives us uh, the profit to reach up to this are because market conditions are changing dynamically now it will hold several days and give the profit are because of the tough conditions in case if there are tough conditions in the changes in the market this zone will be this entire 75 minutes zone because the for them stop loss is 75 minutes zone for us 75 for us it is a intraday trade we considered 5 minute zone is the stop loss but w80 traders this 75 minutes the digital line is their stop loss they have taken more risk but rr is supported up to this and moreover this 75 minutes uh, is within our this risk is within our uh, accepted level that is what we have we have seen all the calculations so by considering all these points you will be holding or you will be keeping your stop loss below this 75 minutes demand zone if the risk is beyond 2% still you can buy these stocks how you can buy you will be learning in our next chapter when we learn about position size video because next chapter you will be having multiple videos so in the position size video i will going to explain in the next chapter probably in the coming week i i mean this weekend or coming week uh, i'll be explaining at the time you will under, you will understand how we can accept more risk and we can take still we can take trades those techniques you will be learning but anyway the point you need to understand it has given an excellent intraday roi for us the bullish trade setup very good but 
see during the intraday it has given around seven how much profit it has given nine thousand uh, two seventy nine thousand rupees profit it has given see how much profit it will give by the time it reach probably it may give i think from here to here three times profit you would have got so close to thirty thousand rupees profit you you will get by the time it reaches this seventy five minutes target but the risk is you need to hold for more days during that time any dynamic changes in the market sometimes it will hit the stop loss that possibility but anyway they will accept that risk because we are taking the trade based on the bullish trade setup you know when bullish trade setup will fail when the overall market is changes to from bullish to bearish at the time they will fail when market reaches the extreme conditions at the time bullish trade setups will fail except that remaining uh, situations bullish traders bullish trade setups give very good profits because we are planning our trades in favor of the trend currently trend is in our favor but that is at the time of changing the trend from uh, bullish to sideways and then um, bearish you may not be knowing until it changes at the time if you take a trade that will be our bad luck those trades will fail because you never know the future you never know market is currently changing from bullish to sideways and bearish until it changes you may not be knowing that okay this is about uh, today's analysis discussion so let's all meet again in our next video thank you